Today is the 25th of July, 2020. Good morning everyone. I'm Dolly Bernal, Filipino, an expat in Vienna. Since lockdown because of COVID-19 pandemic, here's how I start my day. It's totally different from before. Now it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I just got up. Usually, I'm in bed right now. I have to sleep. Came back from night shift. I'm working at night and sleep on the daytime. Now I'll go for two hours walk or more with my two dogs. In my pocket, I always have bags for dog droppings. Actually, not only in my pocket, but also in my bags. If you take your dog for a walk, you must remove the legacies accordingly. Otherwise, we'll be fined for 50 euro before it was only 36. The waste watchers are looking for it. Removing dog droppings is so easy with these plastic bags. There is this so-called dog zones where you can get these plastic bags equipped accordingly. Removing the dog droppings helps to keep the dog and maintain the city clean. But how do you avoid the amount of garbage generated when going for a walk? That is the, my question. In Austria, almost every fourth Austrian has a dog. Of course, there are also some legacies. This just must be cleared away, otherwise there is a risk of punishment as what I mentioned before. Even if you use dog waste bags made up of sustainable material, you shouldn't just have them in nature. Dispose them properly in the trash can, then you do not face any penalties and the environment is also happy. Subject environment, sustainability and climate changes, these are issues I am concerned as an individual. I, for one, trying to switch to eat less meat, support good ideas for the sake of the environment, use or buy organic stuff, and trying to build and consume sustainably. These are few things I want to change in my life. 2013, I was diagnosed that I have uh, type 2 diabetes, and this changed my whole life, my lifestyle, my eating habits, and everything since during the time of pandemic until now i'm still fighting what to eat what to do and for me it is very important to maintain the sugar level i always have fear of hypoglycemia that can also affect my whole family a condition in which blood sugar level is lower than normal for me it's a huge struggle it affects the quality of life the never-ending care, eating carefully, monitoring, maintaining exercises. Sport is important for diabetes patients like me. Hiking is also recommended, which I choose to do during weekends. Great hikes are possible. I'm taking the opportunity to go for a walk without being disturbed by the crowds, just like today. It's also unwind from the city with COVID-19. Moving is healthy, doing this everything. Diabetes mellitus is one of the chronic diseases in which the quality care has decisive influence on the further health development. The basis of any treatment of type 2 diabetes is improvement of lifestyle in terms of diet and exercise. One of the excellent tools for controlling improves health and that's what I'm fighting for.
it's time to go home. I think more than five hours walk with my two dogs is enough for today. Maybe in the afternoon I will try to get to my hiking trails and it will help also for my diabetes.